Hello and welcome to Simplicity in Stocks. Investors in the stock market are always looking for ways to improve their return on investment. They understandably want to make the maximum possible gains with the least amount of risk. One of the ways to do that is to find fundamentally strong stocks. Finding such stocks and then buying them at the right price can be very profitable. So how do you go about it? Well, the best way is to read annual reports of as many companies as possible. This one activity will put you ahead of most investors in the market. It's perhaps the best way to boost your investing profits. First things first, what is an annual report? Well, an annual report is a detailed public report published once a year by every listed company for the benefit of its shareholders. A copy is mailed to every shareholder. You can also find it on the website of the company as well as on the stock exchanges. So what will you find in an annual report? Well, companies are required by law to provide a huge amount of information in an annual report. The purpose of an annual report is to present all relevant information about the company to the public. This is so that shareholders as well as potential investors can understand the company. The annual report will tell you all you need to know about the company from a financial and operational perspective. The annual report contains vital financial data as well as commentary by the leadership about the company's activities in the last one year. It may also provide certain forecasts for the coming year. It also contains useful information about the industry in which the company operates. Now, before we get into the details, you want to clarify that this video is for informational purposes only. It's not a stock recommendation and should not be treated as such. There is no opinion or view on any stock covered herein. Now, on your screen, you can see the information provided by a company in its annual report. So how should you read this annual report? Well, annual reports can seem intimidating at first, but reading it is quite straightforward. You can choose to read it cover to cover if you want, but that isn't the best way to do it. A lot of content in the report is just commentary about specific achievements and tasks completed by the company during the year. This may or may not be important. Before you start reading an annual report, here's a pro tip. Do not waste time looking at all the fancy charts and pictures. You can do this later if you choose to study the company in depth. A good way to start is from the chairman's letter to shareholders. As the head of the board of directors, it is the responsibility of the chairman to take care of the shareholders. This letter will give you a big picture bird's eye view of the company's performance in the year gone by as well as the outlook for the year ahead. If there are letters from the CEO and CFO, read those as well. Just keep in mind that the leadership has a vested interest in presenting the company in good light. So make it a point to look for any challenges or any negatives highlighted by the leadership and how they are dealing with it. Next, the industry section. This is important because no company operates in a vacuum. A company's relative position in an industry often decides its fate in the long term. An industry's leaders tend to dominate the smaller and weaker firms. Thus, the market rewards these stocks with higher valuations. Briefly check the shareholders section as well for any changes in shareholding pattern. Have the promoters or the leadership bought or sold shares? If yes, then how much? Have they provided any reasons for the same? Also check if fresh shares were issued or bought back and in what amount. Finally, check if any shares were pledged or revoked during the year along with the purpose of the same. All this should not take you more than 15 minutes. Most of your time should be spent on the financial section. This is important because here you will ideally need more than an hour to interpret the numbers in the financial statements as well as the details about them in the annexures. But it is possible to get a very good idea about the company's fundamentals by spending about half an hour or so on the financial statements. The financial statements are of three kinds. 
First, the balance sheet, which provides details about the assets and liabilities as on the last day of the financial year, like 31st March. The income statement, which provides details of all the sources of revenue for the company as well as all the costs incurred during the financial year. Last is the cash flow statement. It provides details of all the cash that flows in and out of the company during the year. You just need to spend about 10 to 15 minutes on each of these three financial statements to get a good idea about the company's fundamentals. To do this, calculate the following ratios by plugging the numbers in the formula which is presented here. You can keep the formula ready in an excel sheet and just plug in the numbers from the annual report. Here are the balance sheet ratios on your screen now. Here are the income statement ratios on your screen now. Here are the cash flow statement ratios on your screen now. Quickly reading about the company's performance in the year gone by and looking at the numbers you have calculated will tell you a lot about the company in just one hour. Often you will be able to arrive at a decision to ignore the company even before an hour. This is a good thing because you can then move on to another company. Never waste time studying a company with bad fundamentals. It's just not worth it. If after an hour, you find that the company is fundamentally strong, then take the time to dig deeper into the annual report. You might just have found your next multi-bagger stock. Thank you for watching.